Hi, I'm Dr Sarah Thomas and I'm the Scotland Programme Coordinator for Wikimedia UK. Uh, I started this role in 2018 and before that I was the Wikimedian in residence for the Scottish Library and Information Council and before that I was the Wikimedian in residence for Museums Gallery Scotland. So the Wikimedia projects have always been about making knowledge available for anyone who wants to access it. But the concept of knowledge equity recognises that not all communities are able to access that knowledge equally, nor have they had the same opportunities to contribute to knowledge production. So we end up in a position where various communities who've been left out by structures of power and privilege face barriers both to accessing and to producing knowledge. And that's a problem because it leaves us with gaps. So a lack of knowledge equity comes from barriers that different communities face because of various different structures of power and privilege. And it's also true to say that various kinds of knowledge have been prioritized over others historically. There's a really good example written by a guy called uh, Alistair G. Tuff, who um, is reflecting on working in archives for 40 years, um, where he says that when he began work in the mid seventies, a senior colleague had given him um, two memorable pieces of advice during his first week in the archives profession. Firstly, he was told never to waste time on women's papers. And secondly, he was urged to make sure that anything he earmarked for disposal was actually destroyed and that no evidence of the matter was kept lest historians should make a fuss about it later. Clearly conventional thinking about archives and records has moved on significantly over the last 40 years. I think that's a really interesting example because it shows how we've prioritised different types of knowledge over the over um, historically. On the Wikimedia projects, we acknowledge that these kinds of factors have played a part, but also that we need a more diverse group of editors. We need to reach out to more and different communities, and we need to actively address those knowledge gaps that we find. Without projects that work on knowledge equity, we're only ever going to be telling a part of the story. The Wikimedia projects are never finished. They're a jigsaw puzzle to which we keep on adding. But if you don't invest in knowledge equity, then it's like trying to complete the puzzle with only half of the pieces in the box. In Scotland, our Wikimedian in residence at the University of Edinburgh holds regular Women in Red editing sessions, linking with Wiki Project Women in Red to create women's biographies on English Wikipedia to address the fact that less than 20% of biographies on English Wikipedia are not about men. We've worked with the National Galleries of Scotland on a virtual volunteering project during lockdown and beyond to get Scottish artists and sitters onto Wikipedia. With the Fruit Market Gallery, we've been holding events throughout lockdown and recently and um, just recently an in-person joint event with the National Galleries of Scotland to add Scottish artists of colour to the encyclopedia. We've also supported groups like Protests and Suffragettes to add the history of suffrage and protest in Glasgow and across Scotland to Wikipedia. One of my favourite examples of the kind of impact that we can have um, is a recent one from the University of Dundee's African History course. A group of students undertook to improve, improve a range of articles on African history as part of their course. And the articles that they worked on have been seen over 1.1 million times since the course finished in February. The Summer Teams Enterprise Programme, supported by the Inclusion, Diversity, Equity and Accessibility in Open Knowledge Network, the IDEA Network for short, um, at the University of St Andrews, was an eight week remote skills development programme for students. And they worked on a variety of articles um, on simple English Wikipedia, as well as a variety of different language Wikipedias. Um, and those articles have had over half a million views since the summer. Part of my role um, over the last couple of years has been to run the Community Leaders Survey. Um, and that is a survey of people who volunteer for Wikimedia UK and people who help us to run events, people who work at partner organisations. And it's been really notable that over the last few years, one of the common themes that we see um, of the things that people enjoy most about volunteering is that they get to contribute to knowledge equity.
So we know that getting information onto the Wikimedia projects can have tremendous impact. English Wikipedia alone gets around 11 billion page views every month, and that information gets used across the internet. Putting information onto the Wikimedia projects puts it in a place where people can find it, in a place where they're already looking for it. If we can get information onto the Wikimedia projects, especially that from communities who've been left out by structures of power and privilege, then that information is more likely to be seen, more likely to be used by journalists, more likely to be studied, and ultimately more likely to enter the public consciousness.